I can't believe it, but it's over. Just like that. And one of the most, uh, I would dare call it unexpected turns in my entire life. I thought I had everything figured out, everything sorted, everything was supposed to go perfectly as planned, but this, this past week has proved to be one of the toughest weeks of my life. Through everything that I've worked for, everything these past few years, it ends like this. It ends for seemingly nothing. Nothing at all. And as I stand here, I don't know where I'm about to turn. I really, truly don't know what the future holds for Raul Hernandez. After an anonymous gift in the last episode, I've gotten enough money back to bring my parents out of Mexico and, well, bring them back here or wherever I may choose. They've been stuck up in Mexico for a while now, and after I became such a successful footballer, well, you all know that there was only one group that wanted a piece and one of a part of it. It was the cartel in Mexico. They've gone on, they've kidnapped them, held them for ransom, with me unable to tell any authorities or else, well, it would all be over from there. So I'd have to secure enough money, and that's exactly what I did. Ten million dollars to be exact. But any price is worth it for my family. So before this final, it's time to head to Mexico and get them back. I was going to wait till after the Europa League final to do this, but I have the money, and I would love for nothing more than to get my parents back so they, they can watch me play in this final. So it's off to Mexico we go. We have the money, we have the funds, and it's just me, myself, and I. Telling anyone about this could have easily tipped off the cartel and caused an all-out warfare, caused my parents to die and potentially myself. So it's just me. We've arrived, we have what we need, and it's time to venture off. Face these men, 1v1. Give them what they want and return hopefully unharmed. It's time. The cash was handed over. I came prepared if I needed to. They counted the money, 10 million was there, and my parents were released. These men were evil. I'm absolutely horrified to be able to, to do this and give them what they want, but it was my only option and my only hope. I sped out as fast as I could with my parents, but little did I know, little did I know who had been tracking me this entire time and what was about to go down. told a single soul about what was going to happen. But for the last year, the Mexican government was on to what was going down. They had seemingly been tracking my every move behind my back. I was unaware. So leading up until this point, they knew what was about to go down and they knew they had to step in. As soon as I left with my parents, the government flew in, swooped in and basically saved the day, arresting, killing any cartel members that they had to, and as I was driving away, they saved me as well, and my family. What a week, all leading up to this massive Europa League final. Oh my goodness, 
Returning to my, my parents to their home, it's been a while for them. But what I told them was to gather their things in. Mexico is no more for them. It's time to bring them with me over to Europe to start a new life, to start a new chapter. And I'm just glad this chapter of my life has finally ended. Our flight arrived back in Manchester, and I turned my phone on as soon as I got off the plane and exploded. Text messages, phone calls, emails, news updates, everything. And I, 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 I was a little bit thrown off. My teammates had all asked, yo, yo, have you heard the news? Have you heard? This is absolutely crazy. What's happened? Is it true? And I didn't want to believe the news. So I had to go see it for myself. I pulled up to sirens, ambulances, helicopters, police cars, numerous staff on scene. A bridge in, in an accident. This, this can't be real, can it? No, no, this, no. No, this isn't real. They're saying, they're saying Blake, he'd had an accident and no, no, no. Just like that, Blake, the man that I've, I've grown up with my entire life, gone in front of my eyes, in an unexpected twist. W what? What had just happened? I needed to go to his house to retrieve a few things. Well, say some final goodbyes. I ended up finding a note on his desk that was addressed to me. And what it had read was a note saying that the money that was sent over to help save my parents, all that money had come from him, and that he was sorry. The note that never made it to me. And seeing this after his death, I feel absolutely horrible, absolutely terrible for what I'd done and how I'd treated him to end his life. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go out strong at Manchester United and win this final for him. Let's do it for Blake. And let's go out strong. running through my body at the start of this game are at an all-time high for me and for the rest of the team for the fan base for the football world for some of you who may just be watching this series for the first time you may not understand the magnitude of this Blake was not just my best friend he wasn't just one of the best players on this club Blake was the Ballon d'Or winner a team of the year player he was quite frankly the best and highest rated player in this my player in the world of football and he's gone he's gone just like that completely done out of the game out of the story i mean you saw he's dead so here right now is my time after everything that happened 
it's time to forget that. Put it in the past and play this for him. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get in to the Europa League final. Here we go. Let's get started and let's do this for our main man. Let's get a win. Let's raise this trophy. But ladies and gentlemen, this thing ain't gonna be easy. Oh no, it's not. A one nil lead. Befica takes the lead. We're taking on the Portuguese side in this one. Oh boy, is this thing gonna be difficult, man. What a start to this game for Befica. And then going behind 1-0, I think our club, Manchester United, is just thrown off a little bit. Losing our best player is not something that we can just take super, super easy. This is our leader. This is one of our captains. This is our top goal scorer. This is the man who thrives, who puts everything he has into this club. And now we're behind 2-0. And this missing puzzle piece is proving to be crucial. Crucially bad for the sake of this club. And I know he wasn't playing defense, but literally someone who just holds the entire team together. We're at a loss. We are completely thrown off in Manchester United. If we can't turn this thing around here in this first half, there's a chance that we're gonna end up losing this three, four, five nil in this final. And we cannot let that happen. Manager absolutely pissed. It's time to turn this thing around. Down the wing goes Marcus Rashford in the middle and right back to your boy. It is 2-1. We get one back in the 26th minute, boys. That is exactly what we needed. Oh my God, what a goal it was. What passing, what finishing. And if Blake isn't here to score the goals, it's my job to do just that. What an extra pass leaving a wide open net. And it's basically just an easy tap-in volley right there, striking it with my right. And there you have it, 2-1. We bring this thing back to within a goal, and there's still time to add on, but also time for Befica. A chance from outside the box goes straight to our goalkeeper. Next, from a free kick, it goes. First player misses, second player off the post. Oh my goodness, this first half finally comes to an end 2-1 remains we got a lot of work left to do in this second half and this game is far from over hernandez with one it's time to grab two maybe even three if we want to win this one penalties is not something that we can afford and it's now 2-2 in the 58th minute what a goal what passing it comes from the replacement for blake it is the brazilian it is vinicius what a goal from him the former Befica man, he does it against his former club. What a goal. And it all leads up to the goal that can win the game. Boys, there's only one thing left to do. It's time to do it for Blake. Two. Time running out. What a goal on the finesse. Upper 90 to win the Europa League for Manchester United and to do it in style. The most emotional game you may ever see in the history of this series results in a win. And raising this trophy is going to feel so right after what happened. But not having Blake here to lift it with us. You know, after all we've been through, he's made a ton of mistakes. I've made a ton of mistakes. But in the end, we were always best friends at heart. This one, it does hurt. It feels great, but it hurts him not being here. But he's here in spirit. So although Rashford may be lifting this thing, I can almost guarantee you... Blake's going to have two hands on this trophy as well because he's up there somewhere. The so boys, let's lift this high for him.
back to where we started this episode out. We are a day after the Europa League final, and it's all officially just starting to hit me. It's all sort of coming at me at once. The man that I grew up with playing football is now gone. You know, we always said it as kids that, you know, we would be here playing for the Manchester Uniteds of the world, playing for the biggest clubs in the world of football. I always believed it. I always believed we'd make it, but I never believed it would end this soon. Blake you will be missed not only by myself but for the football world as a whole and for the rest of my career the number 13 shirt i'm gonna wear it just for you what an end to the season we win the double the premier league in the europa league but after everything that's happened this past season i've already stated it i'm, I'm leaving manchester I need a fresh new start after this. Somewhere that I can bring my family. I can start fresh. It's time to leave this club. It's time to leave this city. And this is the decision as to where I'm going that will be made by me, myself, and I only. Normally, I would let you guys have some sort of a say, some sort of a vote. But after everything that has gone down, this start is going to be strictly going to a club that Raul Hernandez wants to go to. You guys can put your theories and guesses in the comments. But next episode will be a new start and a new beginning. What an episode. This one took so long to make. Can we please smash 10K likes? And then the next episode, Raul Hernandez's new club will be revealed. As always, I appreciate your guys' support. And we'll see you for the next episode.